watch off because when I try and draw this, my watch just sort of like gets in the way. It's flaming dogs. Next on ever is um, Staffordshire Bull Terriers and they seem to bark constantly. Big old. Oh, he's like goes down that way. Uh, it's straight down, isn't it? Do it. And then. Right, it's to go that way. Uh, yeah, it's calm. Uh, it's over here. Uh, neck. Uh -huh. Do it sleep. Ding 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 ding. I, I usually do like some sort of skeleton sort of thing so I don't do the body too long but I'm going to have a go at freehand which is not doing too bad actually I'm actually getting the proportions sort of right so and I do little lines where the Feet need to go. So, and this other hand leg is just like maybe behind it, so it would just like be behind it there. And so, a rough guide. Hmm. Now let me know if you want me to do another one of these in pencil or ink pen. So I'm just going to draw it in ink pen. Because I quite like these ink pen. Since I can't actually play piano loud because I've left it too late. It's nearly... Um, Ten. And the next door neighbour's got a new born baby next door. So I can't really. I did try and play earlier and I played them really, really quietly, but it was really difficult for me. So I stopped. I thought, like, I'll do you guys a drawing video, a random video, out of the blue. So. I should get a system up where I can, like, I think I did a goldfinch one a while ago, but it didn't get it didn't get many views, and I was quite quite heartbroken because I I like I did it especially for people who wanted to learn how to draw. I think this is going a bit wrong, but never mind. You learn from your mistakes. I'm doing this on cheap paper, so it doesn't really matter if I go a bit wrong. Oh, sorry, I went off track then. I was too busy concentrating on the picture. So. Uh, I've like drawn cartoons since I was like at school, so I'm quite good at drawing things in cartoons. But uh, I like do a life drawing class on a Tuesday, so I could try and draw more from real life and get a bit more stuff. So. And you can see most of my um my 
life drawing stuff on the Deviant Art page too. On my Facebook whenever I post things up. Because I, did, I work quite a lot so I, I like it's like very hard to like put things upload and keep updated with other things. So I know it's silver but I'm working in black and white so I'm just doing everything in black and white so 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 I draw a lot of um I'm quite good at drawing horses and stuff, but I learnt to draw people. So you know, on a on the horses scale, um, like on a person, the front at the the far like the front legs would be a person's forearm, and the back back side would be like a person's back end. So it's just uh, it's just different perspective, and like there's loads of different shapes meaning. If you wanted to do a quick sketch on something like this, you'd do different circles and different. I do like I would have like that's why when I was sketching, I was drawing little circles and different dimensions just to sort of get the feel of the the movement of the body. So, so that's why I did loads of squiggling at the beginning so I could just get the movement of the body. And see if I could just get that freedom in his legs, you know, in the roundness of his legs and stuff. So I'm just gonna do his tail. Yeah, I'm pretty good at drawing one handed, aren't I? I am right handed though. So. So I'm just going to rub out all the pencil. So if you notice I did like lines. That was just to sort of size up where the legs were. For instance like because he's got a raised knee. This knee is higher than that knee. So it would like it would like need to be higher. And it is exactly higher than that knee. So that that needs is lower than this knee, just to give it that elevation. Cause you know you got to make sure, it, you know, if you think about it, when they raise a knee, the muscle in that leg raises up, so it's higher. Cause if it was stood square, like stood square and still like this one all his feet would be roughly level even though I know that one's slightly back but I don't know if I've got a horse that's actually stood ah oh, this it's roughly square but all its feet are like you know like its knees and everything are in the they're not moving when they're in movement the muscles and everything tend to like be up you know, like it looks like it's just about to go into a walk transition. Just go off into a walk, like walk off. Um, I'd say like, that's like a walk, that's kind of like going into a walk slash trot. And that looks like it's trotting. <laughs> Giddy up, doo -doo. Um, So I'm just going to... Pop me down for a second and rub out without all this um, pencil. Hopefully, the camera don't flop. Let me only find my rubber now. The tiny, mis minuscule rubber, the tiniest rubber that I have. I need to go buy myself a pack of decent rubbers or razors. But we call I call them rubbers. I think it depends where you are in the world. 
I'm used to calling them over. Start to break on me. Don't break on me, I need you to rub out. I haven't drawn at home in ages. Uh, you know, I think, oh, I'll draw one night and have a bit of a relaxing night. So I've got him sort of rubbed out, rubbed out all the pencil marks and I'll just do a bit of um, detail here and here. Sorry, I'm pointing it right down there. Terribly sorry. I'm just I'm just yeah. meaning if you were drawing pen and you wanted to sort of add the oh excuse me you wanted to add some extra shading and contrast you would just like go over the areas like areas over and over and over and over again and do less dark patches in a pen. So, but when you've got like, oh, um, you know, if you've got like a pencil, you could like shade it and get thicker and thicker and thicker, and depending what pencil, you could use like. Um, I think this is a pastel, you can use pastel to merge and blend and charcoal would do the same thing. You could mesh, you could merge it into one and you know charcoal is quite, it's quite nice because you can like make it really loose and you, you can probably, I could probably do a nice charcoal version of that without all these cartoonish lines and make it really nice and look like like how it is and make it look 3D uh, I might try and do that in a video and get properly set up horses are about to go flying off the piano which they will and yeah and, and the tip is if you like you're doing like something and you want it's, uh, you know, they say like you've got like, say if it's like got a light part and then a dark part, you would try and like shade the background a little bit more on the light side and then it'd probably give it more volume, but hey. It's just what I've learnt over the years, but there he is. Or she, I could make it into a boy. But yeah, there she is. Looks like she's got a bit of a long neck. I should have really like brought her head a bit in more and make it, you know, I could have had her head about here, about there where my pen is, and had it a bit more bowed, but she kind of looks like a dinosaur with an extended neck. So, there you are, fam. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Turn on post notifications and there you even share the video if you want if you found it useful and you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.